Welcome to EMTB videos. So we thought we thought of everything. We've got the power trainer that will handle boost rear axles and the app is working and giving power readouts. We've got rear axles for the trainer in all thread pitches and widths. We've got a trainer that lets us use the rear wheel so no issue with the rear wheel magnet. We've got a pretty powerful 220 volt drill to turn the motor. We remove the crank arm and connect the drill by clamping on this tube. By connecting the drill to the wall, we can see how much power the drill is pulling. Comparing this to the readout from the trainer lets us determine the loss in the drill. When we know that, we can turn on the bike to determine the power amplification at various cadences and assistance modes. And we can test lots of other stuff. Or so we thought. We're using the 2020 Bosch Performance CX Gen 4 motor and it is not activating. If I push the other crank arm with my hand, the motor engages. So I push it and I quickly start the drill. But no, motor resistance is just cutting. <sighs> is the power coming from the drill too even? What's going on here? What do you guys think? After a lot of testing, I have to say this is a fail. It could work with other motor brands, but I haven't got one to test at the moment. I'm thinking we need power metering pedals and put in the power ourselves. But that is expensive. And pedaling is hard work. That will have to be a job for the cameraman. He enjoys running and getting exhausted. 